Christian Dio, Dio, I'm up in all the stores When it rains it pours, she like the way I so What's up Diamond Squad, it's your guest night, Diamond's here and I'm back again with another video This is the first time you see my face on your screen, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe button, smash the like button, turn the notification on So you miss anything I post, and that's something to be part of Diamond Squad, let's go back up right now and give the video a like Make sure you guys go and watch my recent video that I posted because the views are slacking I realize sometimes when I post certain videos, the views don't kick up, I don't understand why but please make sure you guys go and watch that video I recently posted. But anyways, today I have here are some new eyeshadow palettes from Hot Topic. So I have the Cinderella palette and the Mickey Mouse palette. Now they came out with so many new eyeshadow palettes that's Disney related. They came out with a Wayne the Pooh one. They came out with Alice in Wonderland, A Little Mermaid, Mickey Mouse and Friends. And they still have the Harley Quinn one. Um, I also ordered the Winnie the Pooh one and the Alice in Wonderland one, so I will be getting that soon. I'll be getting that Friday, actually. Um, these, I kind of did, like, the Afterpay kind of thing, but I didn't use Afterpay. I used this other thing that's kind of like Afterpay, so I am still, like, paying these off. Um, okay, this palette, these palettes I got on sale. With the original price for the Cinderella one is sixteen dollars and ninety cents. The original price for this is nineteen dollars and ninety cents. Um, they usually always put their palettes on sale. I will leave the link to both of these in the description box for you guys, just in case you guys are interested. Now these did not come with cases, like you know the little case thing, and then you take the palette out. I was kind of shocked myself, shock shocked myself. Um, I don't recall if for me buying um palettes from them if they ever came a, like a cover case i don't know i don't remember it's been so long since i've ordered from them so i have no idea but this is it you can see um pretty much bits and pieces from the movie that they obviously cut out and put onto here um so this palette is cruelty free it has mica in it and it also have the shades I thought they would have a shade called Cinderella in here, but they don't. But it has a mirror. You can fold it all the way back. And here it is. Here's the shades. So, I was kind of skeptical at first. I'm like, I hope nothing is not swatched. I hope they didn't send me one that was already used or something like that. But to my knowledge, nothing really look like it's used. But I'm going to swatch a few shades, not every shade. Um, I thought there would be a shade that's called Cinderella in here, but they don't. Don't even have Fairy Godmother, Gus Gus, Dream Come True, Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo, So This Is Love, Eligible, Night Girl, Stepsisters, Be Kind, Pumpkin, and Glass Slipper, Midnight. So, no Cinderella shade. I thought one of the blue shades would have been called Cinderella, but I guess not. Oh, let me swatch this. Stepsisters. Okay, let me really swatch. Okay, the shimmers are swatching pretty nicely, except for Stepsisters. Stepsisters look like it needs another layer. But like I said, I never really judged um, a the shade by um the swatch i always judge it how from the eyes but stepsisters it look like one of those shades that maybe like you would need a glitter glue with it i don't know i don't know what's wrong with that shade honestly um that shade just look weird in the pan for some reason but i try my best to do that let me swatch so you only get like basically four matte shades so let me swatch this blue uh okay so the matte shade swatch pretty decent uh i'm gonna swatch this pumpkin which is like this brown orangey shade okay so there it is so like i said i'm not swatching every single shade in here let me swatch the purple because i really want to see how that purple is uh, okay. Ooh. 
Okay, that purple swatch pretty nicely. I don't know if y'all can really see that. Yeah, it's such pretty nicely. And you could kind of see the green shimmer right here now. Okay, so I'll be right back and I'm a Go ahead and swatch this. I'm going to just clean my fingers real quick. All right, guys. All right, so another thing about Hot Topic, don't expect all of their palettes to have fantastic pigmentation in them because some of their palettes are hit, some of them are miss, some of them are good, some of them are not good. So don't expect every palette to be good from them, okay? But here's the Mickey Mouse one, and this is like the Maleficent one that I have, and the mulan one in the way it opens it opens kind of like this and then it has the mirrors right here then it has the mickey mouse on each side this is a highlighter and eyeshadow palette so you have your highlighter in the middle which is the mickey mouse and then you have these colors right here this has mica in it so no talk um yeah so let's give it a swatch this palette kind of came in mess I was so skeptical about this palette, y'all, yeah, because I'm seeing something that's in here, and then I'm seeing, like, I don't even know. I just hope this palette has not been touched, because if it did, that would suck. Let me swatch the highlighter shade. Curious to see how the highlighter looks like. Oh, that highlighter, guys. Would you look at that? Now that would make a great highlighter right there. That's a pretty highlighter, okay. And let me see, I'm gonna swatch. So you only get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight matte shades. So let me swatch this red, because I'm always curious how reds are in certain palettes, because I love to use red shades a lot. So here's the red, not that bad. Here's this green. Not bad either. I know these are probably horrible swatches. I'm so sorry, y'all. Um, let me swatch this blue. Y'all yeah, know anytime a palette has blue in it, I have to swatch it. That blue isn't bad either. That's a pretty blue. Um, and now, of course, um, most of these colors I have in other palettes already. But you know, it's about the packaging, okay? The packaging and how, you know, the colors perform. Because, you know, different palettes, their shades perform differently. So, and I'm going to swatch the yellow because I always curious how the yellow works. Because I like a nice pigmented yellow. So, oh, oh, wow. Mm. Looks like this yellow is not going to be that. Yeah, that yellow is not pigmented at all it hardly shows up on my finger either yeah yeah like i said sometimes the yellow doesn't really who knows it might show up if i would if i use it as um if i use it in the look i'm gonna create today but i'm gonna create a look with both of these i'm gonna sort of put the cinderella palettes on this eye and see how it performs and let you guys know All right, guys, so got a lot to say about these palettes. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, I also forgot to mention they do have a Lilo and Frog palette. I think that's what it's called, Lilo and Frog or Stitch and Frog. Lilo and Stitch, Stitch and Frog palette. I think that's what it's called. Um, Yeah, but anyways, so let's go on to the Cinderella palette first. So as you can see, this side is like a mess. It's a mess to me because, you know, I've had such a difficult time with this one shade in the palette and i was trying to make it work but it wasn't working so you know i started off with this shade this shade you know was nice and subtle good the the orangey brown color good 
as soon as I get to this blue, y'all, this blue shade, <sighs> when you try to blend it out, it kind of wipes it away. So it's, this is like one of the shades where you have to just pack it on there. Because when you just blend it out, try to swipe it or whatever, the color just fades away. Like I was really trying to build it and build it and build it. And, and I don't know the way I put the concealer because I didn't blend the concealer. Um, it kind of messed with the shimmer. So when I was trying to apply the shimmer with the brush, it's kind of like the blue shade was kind of making the shimmer fade away. So I had to apply the shimmer with my finger. Cause yeah, this blue shade out of this palette, I not the best shade, sadly, you know, but every other shade that I've used was pretty good. The shimmers actually were good. I actually used the white and this green one as a highlighter. It works great. This blue matte shade, on the other hand, is just, I feel like it's a problem. It just doesn't really blend out how it's supposed to blend out. My fucking eye, what is in my eye right now? It doesn't blend out how it's supposed to blend out. And it wipes away the color, and yeah. So, I wouldn't recommend using that blue shade in the palette. But, you know, then again, if you guys do purchase this palette, if you can possibly make a way for, like, the blue to show up true to color let me know because i've had a hard time with that so overall the palette is not is not that bad like i said the other matte shades work just fine for me but the blue shade is just i don't know what's going on there as for this palette this palette did me more justice than this one i'm gonna let you know that right now so you know i started off with this shade right okay yeah. i started off with this shade right here but it's just nice as a transition color then i try going for the yellow and of course the yellow doesn't show up as much on the lids just like how it was showing up on my finger it wasn't showing up that vibrant on the lids <sighs> it is what it is but the orange it showed up really nicely once you build it up a lot it shows up <laughs> same with the green once you build up the green a lot it shows up really nicely i use the highlighter as my um they don't have cut crease there. The highlighter works just fine. The highlighter is really pretty. As you can see, I use it as, you know, a highlighter as well. Not only for my eyes. You know, I just use the highlighter as well. Use it as, uh, put it on my brow bone. So this is a great highlighter in the middle. I give it that. But yeah, as far as the only shade in here that doesn't really show up as much on the eyes, I would say the yellow. The yellow is the only one I really had a problem with. But everything else is good, you know. I didn't use every single shade in here or use a lot of colors. But I can say for the most part, what I've used in the palette, it's been alright. For the Cinderella one, it's just that one blue shade in there that's just a problem. But every other shade that I've used is alright. But yeah, y'all let me know your thoughts about these palettes. If y'all were to purchase this palette, these palettes, which one would y'all get? Would y'all get the Mickey Mouse one or the Cinderella one? Or would y'all get both? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll leave the links to both in the description box, like I said. And um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up, comment down below. Subscribe if you're new, hit the bell notification if you haven't. Find me on my social medias. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Which is the old yo? I'm up in all the stores. When it rains, it pours. She like the way I.